more music. Sito is here. $1,200 later, they got us home. In the previous video I made, you saw me replace the water pump impeller that had gotten locked up because it had ingested sand or shells or something. Uh, we also got a low water flow alarm and a low water pressure alarm on the Garmin. So I pulled off the water pressure sensor switch, which is on the back of the Mercruiser 350 MPI, to check to see if it was functional. It's located right on top of the engine right next to the transom and it's got a purple wire connected to it. Once you pull it off it's just a one inch socket to remove it. Sorry for the unsteady camera work but I was trying to film with one hand and remove the sensor with the other because there's no place to set the camera down. But you can see it removes pretty easily and then once I took it out I could see if it was in good shape or not. And I quickly learned that it was not. If you look on the bottom you can see that the hole is all plugged up. The water is supposed to push against a sensor on the inside of that hole and it registers the water pressure but since it was all plugged up it was indicating zero. That put the engine into guardian mode and we had to get towed. The fitting that the sensor came out of was also totally clogged. You should be able to see all the way down into that because that's where the raw seawater is circulated through and it has a buildup of salt or something, sand inside of it. It was time to break out my favorite product, concrete and metal prep or phosphoric acid, which dissolves all of that marine nastiness. I put some into a container and then I just dipped the end of the sensor in there to see if it would loosen up some of that corrosion or junk that was plugging it up. I let it soak for about two or three minutes and then took it out and took a look and not only did it brighten the metal it also started cleaning all the stuff out of the hole. It's basically the same chemical as Barnacle Buster but does a better job and it's one-fourth the price. Next I tried to clean out that little passageway where the sensor screws in and I used the same acid and a little pipette to clean it out. You can see as soon as it makes contact, it starts foaming up and dissolving everything. I put some in there and then push the blockage out with a little pick and then put a little bit more in to get everything nice and clean. It's going to be rinsed out as soon as I start the engine up anyway because that's where the raw water gets pumped through. I did a little bit more cleaning and a little bit more acid and got everything out of there and then put the old sensor back in and reconnected it. A lot of times the sensors totally fail and you have to replace them. A new OEM Mercruiser water pressure sensor is about $165. You can also get aftermarket ones on Amazon for about $40, but everything I have read says that they don't work. So I always use OEM parts even though they cost a lot more. I also keep one in my spares kit. Remember, learning to work on your own boat is invaluable. Thanks for watching.